Hello, everyone. My name is Hai Shen Xue. I'm a PhD student from the Australia National University. Today, I'm going to present my latest work, Multiplied Bipartisan Network Embedding Using Two Hypergraph Convolutional Networks. First, I will give you some background about network embedding. Network widely exists in the real world. It can be seen as a kind of, a kind of language because it reflects complex and rich information about nodes. If we, want, if we want to do some downstream tags on this network, such as link, such as link prediction or node clarification, we need to design some special graph and size algorithms, such as label provision or shortest path space methods. And the network embedding provides another way to do this tax. It's try to learn the topological information of the network and use low dimensional feature to represent nodes. And then we can use learn feature to do some downstream tasks. Different from the special network, network and the size algorithm, network embedding contributes to liberate classical machine learning methods of network and the size tags. Overall, the goal of network embedding is to design some text independent method to effectively model the structure of networks and the nodes as low dimensional features. According to the type of nodes and the age, we can group network into two categories, homogeneous network and heterogeneous network. Homogeneous network usually contains single type of nodes and a single type of age, and heterogeneous network usually contains more than one type of node and more than one type of age. Bipartisan network is a special topological network. It, it contains two disjoint node sets and uh, only contains age between two different types of nodes. And in this paper, with, in this paper, we focus on the multiplex bipartisan network. It can be seen as the intersection of the bipartisan network and the heterogeneous network. Multiplex bipartisan network usually contains two types of nodes and more than one type of A. And uh, the, the multiplex bipartisan network is not a stranger or real structure. It widely exists in e-commerce platforms such as Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba. In this e-commerce platform, users usually contain many behaviors. For example, users may click or buy some items, and uh, this user behavior loss can be described as a multiplied by parts network. It contains two types of nodes, users and items, and uh, several types of age, including click, buy, and uh, inquiry. And uh, in this paper, our aim is to, is to learn this kind of network and encode nodes as low dimensional features. To model the multiplied by parts network, it it's mainly have three challenges. First, for the multiplied by parts network, it contains two types of nodes, such as users and items. These two types of nodes usually contain different attributes, and uh, these attributes should follow distinct distribution. Thus, we should map these two types of nodes in, into two dis distinct mapping space. The second is the multiple edge types. Different from the bipartisan network, multiplied bipartisan network usually contain multiple types of edge, and how to effectively learn this edge is very important. The last one is the topology and the sparsity. Because in e-commerce, the number of items is much larger than the number of users. The degree imbalance between users and items uh, are imbalanced. And besides, the number of click and inquiry are much more than the number of buy. This causes the imbalance among different age types. To address the change one, we propose a transformation method. We try to transform the original multiplied by parts network into two homogeneous hypergraph sets. We split user items into two different hypergraphs. The idea is simple and intuitive because in e-commerce, a user usually click or buy some items, and we can consider that this 
items have some inner relationship because they are operated by the same or same user. And uh, the structure is very similar to the hype graph, hype edge in the hype graph, because hype edge usually connects several nodes instead of two nodes. To introduce our transformation easily, we here we only show the network with one type, uh, with only one type of edge. For example, user U1 connect with three items, V1, V2, and V3. We can construct hype edge E1 and contain three items. Similar, user U2 connect four items, V2, V3, V4, and V5. Thus, we can construct have H E2 and uh, have H E2 contain four items. Similarly, we can construct a have H E3. And we also can construct have H E4. And uh, E4 contains three items. Finally, we can obtain a homogeneous half graph. And it, con it contains five items and uh, four have age. And with the same operator, we can also construct the user's homogeneous hype graph. After constructing hype graph set, we, imp we implement existing proposed hype graph learning model to uh, on each hype graph to low dimensional features. This hype graph convolutional network was published in Triple AI 2019. And the hype graph convolutional operator is similar to GCM. It can be simplified as a spectral based message, message sharing and a grading process, which learn information from nodes to have eight and the transfer message from have eight to nodes. After, after the transformation step, we construct the whole framework of our model and adjust the changing one. However, we still cannot address the change of how to model multiple edge types. First, for to model the multiple edge types, we first construct several several hype graph sets according different edge types, and we also construct a base hype graph. Uh, which does not consider the information of H types, and the base hub graph can capture the information across different H types, because users by behavior usually associated with these firewalls, uh, firewall click or inquiry actions. Then we propose an intra message passing strategy to transfer the information from the base hub graph to each H type specific hub graph. Because the process of constructing a base hub graph ignores the information of H types and it can model the re relationship across different H types. Passing base hub graph to other H types by CPIC, hub graph contributes to catch, capture the information of multiple H types. For the third challenge, the original multiply by parts network exists on topological imbalance problem, especially the grade degree imbalance between two node types. Here we propose an inter-message passion strategy to, so, to solve this, this topological imbalance, imbalance problem. And the inter-message passion strategy mainly focus on sharing information between two different node types, different node, node, node type specific hypergraphs. Here is a framework of our proposed to HGC model. And we, and we use the cross entropy as the loss function to optimize the whole unsupervised learning model. And we use existing age in the multiply by part network as positive age. And we randomly sample several non existing age as negative samples. We benchmark to HTC using four data sites on um, link diction and uh, not classification tags. Four real world data sets was used in our uh, paper and it contains drug target intersection, intersection network, Amazon, and the two Alibaba data sites. And all four data sites are used in the task of link prediction, and the only two Alibaba data sites are used in the task of node classification. And the LR classifier and the SGD classifier are 
are used in diff two different tasks respectively. Here we choose 13 soda methods as baselines and they can be grouped into four categories. And it does not exist method specific on the multiplied by parts network. Because the multiplied by parts network can be seen as the intersection of the heterogeneous network and the parts network. Thus, we mainly compare our methods with these two categories of baselines. And here is the result of link prediction. And from this, from this table, we can find our proposed two HTC model significantly outperform SODA methods. And the rate value of improvement is the average over four or four data sites against the best baselines. And here is the result of no clarification. And the two HGC still perform significantly better than other baselines. And here is the realization of node embedding on Alibaba data sites. Red are users and blue are items. And we compare to HTCM with three bipartisan embedding methods. And from the from this figure, we can find do HTCN give the best separation between the two types of nodes. We also compare our proposed two HTC model with the base hype graph. As you know, base hype graph does not consider the information of multiple H types, so we can see the, the base hype graph as the as the uh, bypass network. And from this figure, we can find our proposed two HGC makes effective use of multiple H types. We randomly remove H in the multiplied by part network to increase the sparsity of the whole network and to evaluate the performance of two HGC on different sparsity levels. And from this figure, we can, we can demonstrate that our proposed two HGC model has the best performance at various sparsity levels. In this paper, we propose an unsupervised hypergraph convolutional model to learn the multiplied approach network, and it contains three parts. Transform the multiplied approach network into two homogeneous hypergraph sets, and use hypergraph convolutional operator to model hypergraph sets. And uh, finally, we propose two message passing strategy to promote information exchange within and across domains. All data side code and the experimental setting of, of the GHGC model has been uploaded to Market Hub. And you are welcome to visit. Finally, we also employ our proposed GHGC model in Alibaba.com production environment. And the online A-B test in February shows significant improvement in conversion rate. Thank you, my supervisor, Yu Li, my pub Roger, and the other co-authors from Alibaba Group, Lu Weiyang, Wen Jiang, Yi Wei, that's all. Thank you.